happening right now in St. Pete. Police are looking for that guy right there. They say he stole a bird. You can watch him do it from a local pet store. And it wasn't just any bird. It was an endangered macaw valued at nearly $4,000. Now, Fox 13's Josh Cassio is live in St. Pete. Looks like they got a pretty good look at this guy uh, with his mask down. But what, what are the chances of really finding him, do you think? Look, hopefully police can find this guy. The reality is they want to find him because, number one, you can't just steal and get away with it. But more importantly, there's real concern for the health and safety of that bird. He was originally right here. The Animal House Pet Center in St. Pete is down one big bird. Watch as this guy with the red shirt and black hoodie walks up to one of the bird cages, grabs one, then flies the coop. He makes off with this five-month-old red-fronted macaw, a $3,800 bird. He was like a store bird at that point. Everybody, every employee was brave enough to pick him up. He was really sweet. You could flip him over on his back, tickle his toes, stuff like that. He was a great bird. Setting aside the financial hit to the mom and pop pet store, Michener is worried about the bird's health and safety in the hands of this parrot pilferer. That guy definitely doesn't know that he needs hand feeding formula. I'm sure he's not aware of all the care that a big bird like that takes. So that's what's important to me. At one point in the store, we did get video of him with the mask pulled down on his chin. So we have a good picture of his face. We're hoping that somebody out there might recognize his face. So take a closer look at this guy's beak. He's facing a pretty stiff theft charge, which could leave him locked in a cage of sorts himself. Michener calls it all extremely frustrating. I would like for him to be behind bars, but my main thing is getting the bird back. I just don't want anything to happen to him. Now, it's unclear what this guy's intention with the bird is, whether he took it for himself or to resell. There's also a concern that if you were to let it free or if it got out, that it might not survive because, it, uh, because it's so young. So, again, if you recognize that guy, give the police a call right away. They want to get that bird back, of course, and return it to the pet store. Yeah, Cynthia, back to you. I hope, I hope they get the bird back, too, because it is a baby, even though it may not look like one. And, yep. yeah, you're right. He has no idea, I'm sure, what to do with it. So, thank you. Thanks, Josh.